Around the water cooler, we love this story this morning. Um, talk about a man getting a second chance and using his voice to get that second chance. We've all seen homeless people and usually they're at the freeway. Well, this man's name is Ted Williams and somebody, a reporter from the Columbus Dispatch newspaper in Ohio, saw him holding this sign and uh, he was asking for help and then this gentleman, Ted Williams, spoke and it was no ordinary voice. Take a listen. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. And we'll be back with more right after these words. <laughs> he didn't want to give up the mic. But we also learned that he used to work on the air but had fallen on some hard times as mm -hmm. well. Right, that's right. Here's his story. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. When I was 14, I kind of listened to one of our area radio announcers. And uh, I went as a field trip to go meet the guy, and he looked nothing like what he sounded like. So I asked him about that, and he said to me, listen, radio is defined theater of mind. And so when he said theater of mind, I just said, well, hey, I can't be an actor, I can't be an on-air personality, but the voice just became something of, uh, of a development over years, and I went to school for it. And then alcohol and drugs and a few other things became a part of my life. And, I got two years clean. Yes. Wow. You know, the way he was admitting that he had those problems and, and came clean. And so he's been on the radio in Columbus, Ohio this morning. And the radio station could not offer him a job. But a lot of people have called in and they've offered him some work. I mean, this is a fortune to be made, and there are people who have wonderful careers in this. This guy can do movie trailers, mm -hmm. he can do any kind of product announcement, and, and they look for voices like this. He says with such sincerity, you know, I'm two years clean, yeah. I'm just looking for a second chance, I'm admitting my mistakes. It was really sweet. I know, so compared himself to Joe, but said that God had saved... Uh, his life, and maybe he'll get that second chance out of a little bit of this uh, publicity as well. And we have to remember, every homeless person has a story. There's a yep. there's a reason why they are there, and That's we should point. take the time to listen to them. Good luck, Ted. Yeah.